always paranoid that I'm not talking. Hello, hello everyone. This is Shenantha, Genderfluid Gaming, aka Movie Expert 91, and welcome back to Let's Play Jedi, a survivor. We're gonna continue. And if I can fucking remember what the hell it is we were doing last. Um... I think we were heading back to... Yeah, the yacht. We're heading back to the yacht, I remember now. We got BD, sexy little ass on our back, nice little yellow jacket. Fucking physics. Absolutely gorgeous. You got us to the senator. Sounds like he wants to double my cut. Is that right, BD? I love BD. BDS is absolutely amazing. Actually, I don't want to take a picture just yet. We've got contact. Let's take him down. No. I thought our our beat was attacked. Bitch. Some help, please. God, that guy was kicking my ass. Oh, I see. Oh, no, no, I don't see. Whoops. <laughs> um, what the fuck? Where we go? Ah, oh, shit. Am I missing something? Uh, I'm confused. Oh, we have to go this way. Oops. Lead the way, I forgot. Yeah. Yep. I tell you, that thing would be useful in the first one. Good to see you. Hey, Bravo. No job ever goes What's up, according dog? to plan, does it? What fun would that be? That was a Indeed. new guy doing. Bit of a talker, but good in a fight. Huh, I'll take it. The gab sliced the yacht. Senator can't call for help, but he's locked in pretty tight. You try knocking? Batisa! 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 I just bet the twins of the senator had you in there stuffed and mounted. Hey, I want to cut at that. Hey, cut. We saw you this cutscene already, so we just skipped that. We saw that cutscene already. So we're skipping that. Twins. Get Reunite with your crew to yet. Yep. What should I do? You got a jetpack. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, twins. She died. She died. I bet you that means Jedi. Keep your eyes sharp. Bravo says you will notice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe next time you'll check for syndicate tasks before you pick a fight. Yeah. Hey, Cal. Yeah. You hold enough? Just appreciating the view. What am I looking for? Two beans wrapped around the yacht. Gotta take a lot of torque. A talking Jedi torque. I think I can handle that. Yeah, maybe. Do I have enough mental wherewithal to handle that? I have no idea. We gonna fucking find out though, right? Yeah, I tried to move those beams, but yeah, Gabs gave me the heads up. All right. Oh, oh excuse me. First beams down, Gabs. Can you tell the twins to pull down the yacht? On it. Two, Liz, your turn. <laughs> Hold on, there's a factory vent that'll cook you medium rare. All clear, Cal. Long way to drop. Be careful. I'm always careful. 
Mm -hmm. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Damn, is that a ship up there? For the record, I loosened it up for you. Okay, whatever you say, dude. Nice job, Cal. Hop on. We'll bring you down. I'm on gaps. Hola! Hoo Huzzah! Open this ramp city. Bet your ass we are. I'm ready to catch some ass too. You coming? Crew's waiting on you, slowpoke. Yes, indeed. And now, time for me and my lovely assistant to show you how it's done. Go, BD. Let's go reintroduce ourselves to the senator. Let's go, BD. You. Yeah. Yeah, you chopped him to throw. I knew he had unfinished business. Give us your terminal passcode. Impossible. They'll execute me. Maybe I could change his mind. Far be to my intro. Give me access to your terminal. I can't. You can trust us. We're all friends here. Unlock it. We're all friends here. I can trust you. I will unlock the terminal. He moves, blast him. Oh, my pleasure. All right, BD. Let's see what we got. They're everywhere. Not the breakthrough we were hoping for. Years of fighting. Nothing we've done has slowed them down. What did you expect? You lost. The Republic is dead. It was killed by politicians just like you. Do you think I wanted Utapau to join the Empire? The compromises I made created a future for my people. I've been to Utapau, Senator. They spit your name out like a curse. At least they are alive. Why fight when you can't win? Good question. Surrender tastes bitter at first, Cal. But sweetens with time. Free me, and we'll cut a deal. No, Senator. Someday, when your children see this, they'll know the Jedi never stopped fighting for them. How disappointingly naive. Hey, the twins are getting that ravenous look. Let's wrap it up before we have another Corita incident on our hands, yeah? What about him? He's coming with us. Okay, let's take their food to go. Coruscant Underworld. <coughs> Excuse me. The lower levels of the galactic capital, Coruscant, are, are, are insalubrious and dangerous. Dangerous? What the hell? Dangerous where there is no such thing as an honest living. Even a simple diner must pay tithes to local game bosses and a bribe as his ballot turns is a blaster bolt. <sighs> we ever read about the Galactic Empire? Now 
Now, which tool of negotiation should I start with first? Didn't you call me sharp tongued? Collected Senate, also known as Imperial Senate, is the governing body of the Empire. Before that, the Republic. Since the transition to Empire, the Senate's power has slowly been chipped away, and now many Senators find themselves indulging in corruption to recoup the political power they lost. The Galactic Empire emerged from the reorganization of the Galactic Republic following the Jedi Purge, and is ruled by Emperor Palpatine. Increasingly autocratic and brutal, the Empire's authority derives no longer from diplomacy, but by the marching of stormtrooper columns. The Clone Wars began with the First Battle of Geonosis and grew into a galaxy-wide conflict, fought between the Galactic Republic <coughs> excuse me, and the Confederacy of Independent Systems. It consumed the galaxy for three years. The war finally ended when the Confederacy's leaders were cornered and defeated, which coincided with the Jedi Order, who had fought as generals for the Republic being branded as traitors and executed en masse. Or en masse. In the aftermath, the Republic was restructured into the Galactic Empire, with the newly ascended Emperor Palpatine at its head. That's that's crazy. Uh, fighting for freedom, being being branded as a traitor. This one is blunt. Well, it will have to do. Through a rare ability known as psychometry, Cal could read echoes. Bloody negotiations. Daho was Sajin, the senator of Utapau, or Utapau, was notorious for betting rival politicians to his will by any means necessary. Trophies of keep states from various planets controlled by the Empire, a collection of befitting a connoisseur of galactic curiosities. They were no doubt taken forcefully from their planet of origin. Damn. That's a shame. Lucky you, Senator. You've got a day with Saw Gerrera. He'll kill me. Oh, I don't know about that. Depends on whether you cooperate. That's a skill Senator's prize, right? Cooperation. Patisa! Patisa! <laughs> I wish I knew what they were saying. We get what we need? Yeah. Wonder what Saul has for us next. First, we gotta get this intel topside. You'll pay for this, Cal Kestis. You'll pay for this, Spider Man. You got a plan for the Senator? Still thinking it through. We could always ask Liz to see whether the senator can fly. These senators have the good life. Mind if I take his yacht? This thing's too slow for you. It'll be my weekend ship. Me and the family. Fine. You're no fun. Hmm. Ready for all hell to break loose? This shit never goes mind. smoothly, right? You should always target the Empire. Yeah. Feels good to make a difference. No. They're loaded. Filthy rich. Make the huts look clean by comparison. I bet this senator has more credits. Oh, my God. 
Damn. Home girl's dead. Kel, gotta go. Kel, come back. Kel, where you going? Get back here. Oh, I'm gonna whoop this bitch's ass. BD1. After working together for years, BD1 and Kalos Bond has only grown. Equipped with an assortment of exploration tools and an unshakable loyalty to Cal, BD is the Jedi's closest friend. I love that little BD. I'm gonna whoop up homegirl's ass. Uh oh. The pilot of Cal's crew, Bravo, is a veteran soldier who fought alongside Saw Guerrero. Cal and Bravo have run, ran many successful missions together in the struggle against the Empire. How the hell? Gotta get to the Mantis. Cuban Liz. The Clutonian or Clutonian twins. The Clutonian twins, Cuban Liz, would do anything with the friend cow. The royalty is only matched by their insatiable hunger, which often gets them into trouble. A syndicate trained slicer, Jazz doesn't mind enriching yourself while taking on the Empire. Competent and gutsy, Jazz takes every opportunity to demonstrate her superiority over Imperial slicers. <sighs> that's that's a damn shame. Yeah, taking a shot for a freak out. We'll mourn later. Gotta keep moving. Yeah, we gotta go whoop on girl's ass is what we gotta do. Oh shit, hi. He scared the buddy. fuck out of me. Gotta stay one step ahead. <clears throat> now, if I remember right, homegirl like, absolutely kicked my ass the first time I fought her. I don't think we have any. No, we don't have any skill points. Wait, hold on. Are you looking at something down there? We have to go this way, right? Shit. You got a choke slam my ass? Stims increase, nice. So we can carry three instead of two now. There I say it, that droid was kicking my ass. Down. 
But I do remember fighting the Inquisitor and Homegirl kicked my ass. That way's blocked. Come on. A barrier of um, energy similar to ray shields utilized extensively in the Clone Wars. They are resistant to nearly all forms of matter, making it almost impossible to break through them without destroying or deactivating their power source. Come back later. Mm. Oh shit. I was like, that meat sash? What the hell is that? Nice. Maximum force increased. RBNB to trick enemies into turning on each other. Computer centers attack. Cal of no hostiles are near. Okay. Troopers everywhere. Gotta be careful, BD. Yeah, no joke. I was kicking my ass. Yeah, I go down there. What the hell is up there? Bitch. You didn't get shit. Point acquired. Okay, Make sure I'm not missing out on something. I'm really not ready to go fight homegirls. It's gonna kick the shit out of me. I'm done with this place. I 
Oh, meditation spot. Oh, this is definitely where we play home girl. <clears throat> I am not ready. Oh my god. I totally forgot how to fight her ass. Hold out to deal fast strides towards a single enemy. That's gonna be useful against uh, home girl. The Inquisitor, that is. Time to move. Gunship off my back. On it. Of course, I got a pipe fucking big draw from draw, huh? It's why not. Gotta You're hurting bad inside, Kestis. I can sense it. All the guilt you're feeling for those fools you led to their deaths makes you so, so predictable. Ow. I dare you. Take your shot. 
down, bitch. <laughs> dual Santa fired. Pal can now use Dual Santa combat. Dual Santa allows for fast strikes and unbreak and upgradable force parry, but offers less soul stamina. Shit! Oh, fuck you. Oh, I hate your ass. Get off my ass! Fuck you, bitch. Get your ass this time. You were a Jedi Knight before you betrayed our order. Your name was Masana Tide. Fuck you, Masada. Hell yeah. No, I want this to be a dual stance. And I want this to be... Hold on, the Night Sister. Masada Tide noticed the Night Sister as inqu inquisitorious, trade revenge after being defeated by Cal years before. Now we have dual building, um, like double blade, and these, which is actually really, really good powerful stance to have. You need to hold Y to automatically. Damn, we. You see how much little fucking house we have left? The sound of us kicking my ass. So the first time, the first time I fought her, I died. This time I knew what was coming, but to be all fucking honest, I almost died that time too. It was very fucking close. <laughs> Sounds like someone's malfunctioning over here.
Meditate, please. Whew. Any skill points? Did we get any skill points for taking Masana's ass? Hell yeah, we did. Wrenching skill, radio push. Press RT and Y to push a wide area, causing multiple enemies to stagger. Um. Oh shit. Um. Increase the amount of time enemies will attack other enemies will confuse. Maybe increase my maximum force, but I do use force a lot. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Increase my force so I could do more uh, force attacks. I want to change my lightsabers though, so they're uh, they're yellow. I want, I want my yellow lightsabers back, but I know we have to get back on the ship before we can do that. What's our objective? Get to the hangar. Okay. What's up, BD? Droid. The GNK series power droid is renowned as an excellent portable battery unit. They are nicknamed Donk Droids. Both are reference, reference to the series classification and their signature baritone vocalization. Huh. Interesting. Honest God, though, I thought I thought that fight was going to. I mean, that fight was fucking hard, but. Let's get back to the Mantis. If the others made it out. They'll meet us at the hangar. If not. Yeah, let's try not to think about it, buddy. Uh-oh. I'm a wanted man. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I didn't even know there was a fucking stormtrooper. I was... I, I meant... I meant to hit, um... I, me I meant to hit, um... Fucking L LB. Um... I meant to hit LB and I hit LT and I accidentally fucking called someone someone over at my telekinesis. Whoops. Yeah, we're wanted by the uh, Empire. Down, bitch. Suck my ass. Air traffic control. Air traffic. Air traffic control. Perch. Sky lane perch cause. Uh, excuse me. Used by Coruscant security forces to monitor traffic flow and enforce regulations. Huh. <sighs> Like I said, I'd be fucked about if, if I was in this situation. I have no upper body strength whatsoever.
Fingers close. Thank God for BD, huh? Yeah, no, honest to God, though, I, I had no idea that fucking, uh, that, uh, Stormtrooper was there, and I accidentally telekinesis his ass over me, I'm like, what the fuck? Interesting. Let's go this way real quick first. Look at this. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Prior right shard. I don't know who the hell I sell that to, but... What's up, guys? Thanks to this crazy son of a gun dark. Uh, you're hurt. I'll manage. What happened to the Inquisitor? Dead. Get their ass this way from Sunday, hell yeah. And the twins. I, I should have. They knew what they signed up for. We need to get topside and transmit that intel to Saul Guerrera. That's how we honor the fallen. You're right. BD, call the ships. The yeah, Inquisitor's ass is dead. But unfortunately, that was only the first boss. Not the valet service I was hoping for. Bravo. You got Overwatch? On it. Why does that guy look like Jimmy Kimmel? <laughs> I'll draw the fire. The guy on the right, on the phone. Island. Let's get some payback. See you in the next scrapper. Hey, y'all just gonna sit there and watch me do a mono a mono down there, you really? Alright. Whatever, I guess. I did just kick the shit out of the Inquisitor. Well, honestly, she and I went toe to toe for a minute there. I didn't really kick the shit out of anyone. She kicked the shit out of me for a minute. I barely survived that. She was kicking my ass this way since Sunday, but I still won, though. Let's do this. Alright, let's meditate real quick. Refill our um, health and all that good stuff. All set. Not like it, Bravo. Got your back. Bravo's got our backs. <laughs> Yeah, I go that way. What the hell is this way? Come on, do it again, I dare you. That's it, get your ass off here. <laughs> that's why that's why I love the forest. I just fuck a throat to the motherfucker. Oh shit. All yours, Boat. Had a hunch this might be a hot exit. See you both in the air. Ready? Oh, uh, this has been a great first date and all, but I still haven't gotten paid. Locator beacon? Got the other on the Mantis. When things cool off, come and find me. We'll settle up. Yeah, sure, I can trust you. You saw the intel. A lot more work to be done. Looks like I made the cut, huh, BD? <laughs> Boat? May the force be with you. You're a great fighter, May the force Cal. be with you. Let's see how well you fly. Reminds me of flying in, um... 
the hell was it? Uh Are we looking No, any... fuck me. It was a new it was a new Bethesda game we came out. Whatever it is. Starfield. I'll have to wait until we get some place safe. Flying was fun in that game. A lot of space battles, like Star Wars battles. That fucking asshole was gonna keep pot shotting me on the helicopter. My hell no, get your ass over here. This fucking throat choked his ass. No traffic. Looks like this portal's under maintenance. What's up, Jimmy Kimmel? As soon as we breach the surface, jump to light speed. Gotta take the risk. We've already overstayed our welcome. We got company. The new game is so kind of glitchy and bomb with me, but it, it, it's forgivable. What the hell is there not to love about Star Wars? Like space fights and fucking lasers. More coming. I'll peel off. Draw a few away. Thanks, Bud. Good luck. You too, Cal. See you soon. I can't shake him. Hold on. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Learn that move from you. Here's our exit. We're almost there. All coming in from the surface. And our tail. We're trapped. Feels down. We're almost And we lost our whole fucking crew. The only one we have left there. is fucking Bode. Mind running diagnostics while I transmit the intel? Yo, BD, yo, yeah! I'm on it, guy. I'm on it, yeah! I'm in, I'm on it, Kale. Let's hope this information does some good. Cal, I didn't mean to call you guy. I forgot your name. We did it. And he must have some hell of a fucking survivor guilt. Hey, BD. Hey, are you making a Halloween movie? Hey, ah! Let's make sure I look good, right? <laughs> Get my best side, right? <laughs> Breaks off my table, kid. <sighs> well, it's as we hoped. This book is a copy from the Jedi Archive. That's great, Seer. Just wish we could have stopped the Empire from getting the rest. Patience. This war won't be won soon. Or by us alone. And BD is trying to flood us with appeals. The galaxy is vast, Droid. And I have seen only a little of what it has to offer. But one day, I will return to Dathomir and whisper what I, I remember her to my sleeping sisters. They were not invited. No, fuck you for not including BD. You know, it's not often I break out an old family recipe like this. Well, what do you think? Mara. It's good. Could use some more salt. How much salt is bad for you? 
It's wonderful, Grace. I'd actually pay credits for this. Oh, yeah? Hey, I might start charging you, Cal. <laughs> hey, does anybody else smell something burning? I keep forgetting what happened to that, um, our old crew. I know Seer died. You better get all up in our pills there, BD. BD's, I got you here. I got you, Cal. I'm here for you physically and emotionally. We need that. Uh, any ports nearby that won't turn us in for a reward? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. Pull up the cocoa system. That's where you settled down. Out in the middle of nowhere. Could be a good place to lay low. If anyone knows how to fix up the mantis, it's Grease Dritus. Think we can make it? Hell yeah, we can. But BD on our side, anything's possible. Let's go, BD! Yeah! Alone, safely aboard the Mantis away from Curacao, Cal transmitted the intel to Saw Guerrero and began to ship wide diagnostics. As Cal reflected over the loss of friends, BD played footage of the Mantis crew during happier times in an attempt to comfort him. When the recording finished, the diagnostics report revealed a faulty gyro model, or module. Realizing only a greased dryness would know how to fix the Mantis, Cal plots a horse from Latero's new home of Cabot. Tidy up before we visit Grease. You know how he is about mess. Yeah, this is taking me back to the first, uh, the Jedi Fallen Order. That game is fucking fantastic, by the way. I absolutely recommend it. Saul Guerrero. That guy. Inf uh, infamous Andoronian insurgent, Saul Guerrero works for Calicastus to run operations against the Empire. Guerrero charges Cal and his crew with obtaining military intel from the yacht of Senator Daho Sajin. Can I use this thing yet? Jarrow DePaul. Oh, this guy. Jedi Master Jarrow DePaul was a general during the Clone Wars who mentored his Padawan, Cal Kestis. Remember, he was from the first one. Uh, Paul in Order. With a firm and disciplined doctrine, DePaul was mortally wounded during Order 66 but gave his own lightsaber to Cal during their escape. Jarrow DePaul's wisdom remains with Cal, helping to guide him as he confronts new challenges. He's the one that taught Cal everything that he knows about being a Jedi. If, if you don't, you don't, uh, if you haven't played the first one, that is. The Ninth Sister, Baton Revenge, ambushed the crew. She executed Senator Sajin, and in the ensuing firefight, Gabs and the twins were killed too. To buy a boat at Bravo time, Cal confronted the Ninth Sister and defeated her. At the hangar, Cal offered Bo to locate her beacon so that the mercenary could track him down for payment after they escaped. As Imperials pursued the, um, Remaining crew, Bo drew several fighters away, but Bravo's ship was shot down before they jumped to light speed. Cal finds himself with BD aboard the Mantis, safe but otherwise alone. Yeah, that's depressing. Sorry there, buddy. The Stinger Mantis is an S-161 Stinger XL luxury yacht made by Latero Space Force and originally ca uh, captained by Grease Stridus. The little, the little guy with the forearms. He obtained the ship after taking out a recklessly large loan to buy it. As a luxury vessel, the Mantis boasts a comfortable interior and a sturdy, or excuse me, and a sturdy exterior. They probably meant to say sturdy. They, they typoed on that. In the years since its daring escape from Fortress Inquisitorius, the ship has been helmed by Calicassus as it continues to try, as it continues trying to push back against the Galactic Empire. Yeah, we can't quite change our lightsaber yet. We don't have access to that. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, we got assembly parts or uh, BD. Workbench is unlocked, hell yeah. Lightsaber is a BD one, uh, can now be customized to workbenches found throughout the game. You can also change lightsaber components, materials, and wear condition. Additional lightsaber customizations options can be found throughout the game. You can now customize BD one's parts, materials, paint, and condition. Additional BD one customization options can found, be found throughout the game. The Hell yeah, let's go, let's go update our fucking uh, lightsabers, guys. Let's mix it up. All right, so we want Do it. Well, not quite, Cal. We're not there yet. Hell yeah. Ooh, that looks badass, isn't it? Pretty proud of this one. Hey, right, beauties, change you up a little bit. I'm gonna have to see it like worn a little bit. Or like well kept. Uh, he, he's definitely been taken care of, but he's seen some shit. I like the little antennas, they're adorable. Yeah, I like those better.
It works, and it looks great. <sighs> now, um... Start our non-metal. I think the handles being non-metal is better, and having the gold parts being metal is really nice. I think it's got to be a little worn. Just a little bit. It's seen some shit, but it's not... I think that metal looks better on it. Let's test the weight balance. Hey! Hell yeah. Let's head up to the cockpit. Okay, oh, there's a I know there's a meditation thing here. I have any I don't have any skill points, okay. You got a BD, you got his little Halloween colors going on. Because every day is Halloween for BD. Cabo. are so good. What is that? Oh, so you're ripping the space time to do you continue there, Joe. We got some Langelier shit going on. Let's land. Space vagina or whatnot. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you gotta go watch the Langelier, a Stephen King movie. Very, very long, but I like it. It's gonna be in a flyer taste, though, I'm not gonna lie. We're not gonna make it to the hangar. We gotta put it down. Hold on, BD. Are you close to dropping her ass off a cliff there, Joe? Completely fried. We won't be flying again without repairs. Okay. This is us. This must be the outpost. I guess we finally get to see Grace's cantina. Okay. Always the optimistic one, BD, huh? Always the optimistic one. That's why I keep BD around, guys. That's why we keep him around. I love BD. Yeah. Let's pop that. Yeah. Beautiful yellow blades. Whew. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Let's do a double batch. Let's do a double batch. Come on now. Yeah. Beautiful. Whew. Yeah, I love it. It's so calm. Bravo would have liked this. Come on, buddy. Long way to go. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I forgot how beautiful this fucking game was. Okay. So Grease is on the other side of all this? Yep. Mind giving me a closer look? This game is absolutely fun. 
Oh, I've been playing about for an hour or five minutes. Probably do like another like half, like half hour or so we'll call for tonight. Um, only because it's, it's like almost two in the morning and I, I do work, I, I don't work till two in the afternoon. Uh, it's our 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. every night now. That is one big beast. Yeah, it is. We have our target. Now let's reach it. Is there anything else I could tag while I'm in BD view? Okay. Alright, so we know where we're going. We're certainly not going down that way. Are we? No, I don't, I don't think so. That's, that's kind of stupid. Where the fuck are we going then? Oh, down here. Okay. I see. Oh my god, okay. Last time I saw the Ripper Hulk was Braca. Long time ago. Rough. What would you say now? Come on. This <sighs> won't repair itself. So grease no doubt. parts we need. And you just whoop our asses with all four, four, all four fucking arms. It's like Goro's son or something. Sharpen the abilities of a Jedi. I forgot there was training modes. <coughs> Train to attack with your lightsaber, reflect, parry, evade. I don't know if we get any points for it. I don't think we do. Whoops. This is a Jedi. Found you, intruder. Keep your position. Let me just exit training. I don't, I don't know. Like, uh, like, I did training in the first playthrough, I did. Um, but I'm not sure if it's absolutely worth it or if I get anything for doing all the training. All the way through. But I feel like if I if I just kind of stick to it, I'll figure it out. I'll get you.
yeah, deflecting or deflecting bullets is not too hard. Harry. Oh shit, whoops. Okay, so we got parry twice. When he does that, I can't parry. Ow! Ass hat. Bitch. Advance evade. Learn to quickly evade enemy attacks. While standing still, tap E to evade right before enemy hits. Okay, oh, okay. I see. Ow. Uh -huh. Fuck you. You're being a dick. <laughs> you deserve to die. I'll bait this guy in it. Throw your lightsaber for a powerful ranged attack. Oops. Hey. Uh, Alright, all training is done for now. Okay, so we got training done. <sighs> okay. And we can't do anything over here, I don't remember right. broken dredging machine. Mission machines thrown together in a hurry are often prone to failure when they are invariably pushed past their limits as the prospect is to bow learned. And we came down here. Alright, there guys, I'm gonna freak you out. Nice. It's a scrappy outlook. New seed discover, nice. Continue exploring the galaxy, discover this treasure and who finds it valuable. Cabo seed. I didn't even know I could mind that, that's cool.
should repeat. That's nasty looking. <clears throat> List carefully for signs of sugar pee may be lying in wait. Watch its sprawls, precludes its movement, attach. Uh, last encounter, Cabot Gorge Trash Site. Sugar pee is known amongst Cabot locals as Springers, Jerry Springers, have learned to adapt to the surroundings out of necessity. Hidden among the terrain, they will wait till a hapless prey passes too close. Then they strike, surprising and hopefully slicing the un unsuspected prey with their sharp claws and vicious teeth. The powerful and opposing ninth sister has only grown more rage fueled and vengeful. She's dead now. In the years since her first base at Calcasus, a mechanically enhanced Dowardin, her brute strength alone can overpower foes, but she also possesses the natural empathic ability to read the minds of others. This, combined with her mastery of the force and raw, rage driven strength, makes her one of the deadliest warriors in the Inquisitorias. And she's dead now. First troop commander, not really necessary to know about. Um. Attack of flurries of quick strikes, bone blast, finishing initial attack. These are all about random uh, stormtroopers. I'm not gonna read all this. It's, there's a lot. There's a lot to take in. Shiver repeats. Let's have a repeat out. Got, got it hidden. You got it. Got it looking real quick. Oh shit! Rusted, like everything else around here. Broken mining droid. Droids are common, uh, commonly used for manual labor across the galaxy, aiding the toil of organic workers. Kabo is no exception. Nor is there any exception that when the work is finished, they are left in ignominiously to rust. Not you, BD. I'll never leave you behind. You. Yeah. Hey, I probably could jump up. Can I jump up that wall? Hell no, I can't. All right. Uh. I'm sorry. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? There's gotta be a way I can do this. I might glitch it up, but it might, it's gotta be possible. Hmm. There's gotta be something up there. I thought maybe I just kinda glitch it up and... Yeah, you can't just run up the wall, definitely. Okay, that makes sense. Oh well. And yeah, we're not really that hurt, we don't have to meditate right now. Eventually we can open up a shortcut, so we just kind of dip across that. Oh shit, whoops. Did not mean to do that. Oh. Uh. That guy almost fucked me up. The B1 battle droid became the common foot soldier of the Confederacy, uh, Confederacy and Independent Systems during the Clone Wars. B1 battle droids are not known for their battle prowess, but instead are valued for their automaton tenacity. Easily dispatched by blaster or saber, they should nevertheless be treated with caution. Yeah, no doubt. I threw that fucking explosive at my ass. Wow. 
More priorite. Mm-hmm. I remember. Bedlam Raiders. What has Gray's gotten himself into? Raider Grunt. Raider Grunt's prowl cabal of flashing the might against those that deem trespassers. Quote unquote. Armed with an electro sap, they strike with long range blows. It can be difficult to block. Though lacking in endurance, they are nevertheless a greater threat than their droid underlings. No oh, ship is a human. See there, BD. Crush Prospector. At least one prospector, perhaps searching for fry right amongst the bubble rubble, was crushed by falling rocks in a hastily dug and improperly secured cave. That's sad. Damn, that dude got fucked. Like it's fucking ribs collapse. Oh my god, hi. Fuck you. Fucking asshole. Just look at that thing. Are you sure picked an interesting place to live? Yeah, no doubt. Hey guys. I mean you no harm, unless you start, you know, biting at me or something, then I will I will kick your ass. Oh, was certainly not, certainly not going down that way. Can I drop down there without dying? I highly doubt it. Oh wait, I see where we have to go. I see. I was just trying to enjoy himself. Captain's ball. Go get a BD. Nice work. Shortcut. That'll save some time. Okay, what, where the, oh, okay, we're going around. God, I'm stupid. Okay, I was like, I forgot how much they talked. These droids have new masters. 
B2 battle droid. The B1 battle droid may fail, the B2 is almost certain to succeed, but the proved strength of reinforced chassis, super quote unquote battle droids are an intimidating presence. Armed with dual wrist blasters and rockets, B2 droids were designed during the Clone Wars for singular purpose destruction. No joke. Oh, yeah, that guy was kicking my ass a little bit. There's a lot of fucking tar though. Stuck ship, huh? Tell me about it. Wish we could help. Yeah, I wish we could help. Fortunately, I can't really do much right now. If I remember right, I lacked the uh, appropriate skill to help get that out of there. I know we can help him later, I just don't know when. Yeah, we don't, we don't have the right amount of force. Uh... This is really not pleasant. Yeah, no, it's not a jar, it's a jar. The tar is fucking thick. It's very viscous. That's the right terminology. Hey, we got a short beard. Yeah, right now. Let's get a little bit more beard on him. He's looking seasoned. We're definitely getting closer. I think I see a way out. Just past that creature. Let's keep going. Yeah, well, the problem is, is will the creature kill me? That I mean, I have no idea. Oh, that's a rainbow. You gonna say something about that rainbow? Sorry, buddy. That... Damn, is he still falling? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. That was a little brutal. Uh-oh. I totally forgot about that thing. Don't they see the bigger picture? Negative. You don't see it either. But you're a droid. You don't have to. Ravish. Hard hit. I won't let you get in our way. Take your yours. Ow. I can parry too, asshole. You're a waste of time. I'm sorry, what was that? Who's still alive? Bitch. That's what I thought. Prospector. The raiders who patrol the gorge appear merciless in prosecuting trespassers, acting as judge, jury, and executioner on any hapless prospector caught in their sights. Yep. We. I need to clear my mind. Derelict dam meditation point discovered. And we can fast travel now. Double bladed, single dual wield. Hold LB and then press S to attack lead backwards, creating distance from the target. Oh, well, that might be helpful. Oh yeah, hell yeah, that's definitely gonna be useful. 
All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and rest, and we're probably gonna call it a night because it is late. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like, comment, subscribe at Shenanthro Tony Pua Gaming, or give me a follow here on Twitch at Movie Expert 91. Until next time, you guys have a good day and or night. And I bid you adieu.